So guys, welcome, welcome, chair yoga, chair yoga, first one of the summer holidays and the sun is shining. Um, so I thought that today we might perhaps do uh, sun salutations with the chair. And we're going to do them two different ways. Um, but first, we're going to start by standing up and warming up. So join me on your feet. And we're going to start with the feet nice and wide apart. Soft knees and gently twisting from side to side. Lovely Katy Shakrasana to start our practice. So allowing your uh, center to be firm, you can firm the buttocks a little, firm the belly muscles. And allowing the shoulders to be soft and the arms to be really relaxed. And as you twist, the arms can wrap the body and gently tap wherever they fall. Let your head follow your movement. If you want to, you can begin to pivot on your toes as well. So you free the feet. And that suits some knees and hips and it doesn't suit others. So if it doesn't suit yours, that's another thing to do. It's really important to use your common sense when you're practicing yoga. If something really feels painful or awkward or you just really are not keen on how it makes you feel afterwards, perhaps it doesn't belong in your practice, regardless of what the teacher says. We'll add a little soft dip in the knees in the center, only if you want to. So bend the knees and then twist away. Again, a little firmness through the belly, through the buttocks. Maybe touching the opposite shoulder in front of you and stretching the arms to the opposite hip behind. When you're ready, you can begin to lose the twist. Allow your feet to settle back to the floor and sway yourself back to steadiness. When you come to steadiness, just take a moment. Now we've done that opening practice. To close the eyes or gaze gently downward. Stand tall and experience the effects of your practice. Notice your breath, your heart rate, sensations in the body. Sometimes it's the first time you've checked in with yourself in a day, possibly a week. So taking time to observe what the body is telling you. And all you have to do is observe. So all we have to do is notice. When you're ready, you can bring the hands to Namaste, lift your chest slightly and take your chin towards your chest. Feel that gentle stretching down the back of the neck between the shoulder blades. And if it feels comfortable, softening the knees and then just gently rolling the, the neck. So one ear to one shoulder back chin to chest, and then the opposite ear to the opposite shoulder. So just gentle, gentle neck movements. Again, if anything feels awkward or painful, avoiding those movements. If you like, when you next take your ear to shoulder, you can Join by lifting the chin over, making a little sort of 
semicircle with a straight D. No, a D with a semicircle and a straight, like, oh, I don't know. You know what I mean. And the opposite way as well. The important thing is just not to take the head back. And that's especially important for ladies as they get older. And finishing with the chin towards the chest, releasing the head back to neutral, releasing the arms down to the side. We'll put the fingertips onto the shoulders and make small circles to begin with. So here we're still standing with nice active knees. We've got active bellies, just making small circles to begin with. And maybe making the circles a little bit larger if it feels good. Explore the range of movement. You can slow your circles down the larger they get. You don't need to make them fast. Maybe eventually you can bring the elbows towards each other. And then the shoulder blades back and down. Let's do one more in this direction. And then we'll reverse. So small circles to begin with, just exploring how it feels, what the shoulder feels like, if there's any clumps or clicks or sticky, sticky bits. And then when you're ready, you can make your circles a little bit larger. Maybe you can start bringing the elbows towards each other. In front of the body, the shoulder blades more towards each other behind the body. And we'll do one more in this direction. Before releasing the arms down to the sides. Aces. So let's just shrug the shoulders up to the ears. And then slowly let them come down. Press the palms to the floor. So the shoulders are pressed down as well. Oh, this is a big stretch for me today. And slowly release away. We'll do it one more time. Shrug the shoulders up to the ears, hold them briefly there. And then as slowly as you can, just releasing the shoulders to neutral. When they're neutral, press the palms to the floor, holding the shoulders down. Oh, and slowly release back to neutral. Awesome stuff. Okay, so um, we take the hands onto the hips and make the knees a little soft and then make some nice rotating movements with the hips. And it doesn't matter if you're doing this with the whole body, getting a little side stretch, back stretch, forward stretch, or if you're doing it more with the body centered and just moving the hips. Either of these is okay. Go with whatever comes naturally and we'll reverse that movement as well. So nice and gentle. Begin to awaken that sense of connection between the abdominal muscles, the buttock muscles, muscles in the buttocks and the legs as well. The sides of the body, you can feel them switch on, switch off, switch on, switch off. There we are, bring yourself back to center. And we'll do our spinal undulations as well while we're here. So we're gonna start with the knees nice and soft and just tuck the tailbone under by engaging the buttock muscles and then keeping a little effort in the, in the tummy muscles, just tucking the tailbone out behind you. So tucking the tailbone under, tucking the tailbone out behind you. Here we're trying to isolate this movement. So we're just making the tailbone wriggle backwards and forwards. Now it doesn't matter how far, but if your knees are bent, you'll find that it's an easier movement to access. Good stuff. Do one more like this. And then we'll do this uh, by coming back to neutral and putting the arms into it as well. 
So we're going to breathe in, take the arms open, elbows slightly back, opening the chest, and breathe out, reach the arms in front of us over the big ball we imagine in front of us, just draping forwards. So not a full forward bend, scoop the belly in. Breathing in, buttocks active all of the time, belly active all of the time. Breathing out, reaching over and away. Feel the spine engage. Breathing in. Breathing out. Breathing in. Breathing out. Breathing in. Breathing out. We'll do one more. Breathing in. Breathing out. We'll finish by breathing in and standing tall. Stretching the arms, turn the palms down towards the floor and float the arms down to the side as well. Awesome source. When you get down, if you need to make any wriggly bits, wriggle your wriggly bits. Awesome source. And then we're going to come and be on our chairs. So for this, you might need the block underneath your feet. Maybe yes, maybe, maybe it's I, maybe it's no. Um, want to find ourselves on the seat, maybe not right at the very, very edge, but with an, a good firm foundation underneath our buttocks and perhaps the tops of the thighs as well. But still so that we are not sitting right in the back of the seat, but sitting tall. And here, if possible, having the, the feet directly in front of the hips so that the knees, the hips and the feet are all aligned, not quite absolutely together, not falling out to the side or falling together. Very good. So for a seated sun salutation, that's what we're going to do. Um, we do these movements. And so I'll talk you through it. We'll do it slowly once to each side and then we'll do it a little bit more swiftly to each side. You can do it slowly if you like. So we're going to start with the arms down by the sides, roll the shoulder blades back and down and sit really tall, lengthening with fingertips towards the floor, lengthening through the back of the head. So this is our seated Tadasana position. So we're going to inhale here and then exhale, bringing the hands to Namaste. As you inhale, reach your arms up and wherever up is, that's fine. Up and we're going to reach wide as well. Inhaling up. And then we're going to exhale and just gently uh, sway ourselves over to one side, just a little. Inhale back to the center, looking up a little and exhale to the opposite side. Inhale back to the center. We'll do one more time to each side. Exhaling over. Inhale back to the center. And exhaling over. I'm going to inhale back to the center. And then exhale the arms down, hands to Namaste. We're going to inhale as we lengthen the right leg forward. Oops, hold on. The right leg forward. And then we do the whole thing again. So exhaling here. So right leg is forward. We're going to inhale up, separate the hands, and exhale as we gently lean to the right side. Inhale back to center, looking up. Exhale, lean to the left side. Inhale back to center, one more time to each side. Exhaling over. Inhale back to center. And exhaling over. Inhaling back to the center. Exhale, draw your hands down and your right foot back underneath the body at the same time. Very good. Let's inhale as we step out the left leg and exhale in our center, preparing the belly. Inhale, reaching up, opening the arms. Exhaling, reaching over to one side. It doesn't really matter which side. Inhale back to center. Exhale to the opposite side. Inhale back to center, like you're holding a big beach ball. Exhaling over, firm belly. Inhale back to center and exhaling over. 
Inhale back to center. And then exhale, draw the hands down and step your foot underneath you. And we're going to relax the arms all the way down just for a moment while we roll the shoulders. So this time when we do it, we're going to add something. I've changed the way in my head, I've changed the way that we're going to do it mid-class, which I often do. Um, so apologies for that. Um, but we're going to uh, start now with a forward bend. So having the feet out nice and wide. Um, and then come back to it. Just go with me, okay? So breathing in, reach the arms out and up, look up. And then as you breathe out, draw the hands down to Namaste. Let the hands come to the tops of the thighs and fold forward as well. Let your breath go. So if you need to take another breath in and another breath out, that's okay. We'll roll the shoulder blades towards each other down the back. Try to lengthen the crown of the head to the floor. And if you like to, you can gently turn your head from side to side if that feels good. On our next breath in, scoop the belly in and slide the hands up the back, uh, up the legs, sorry, back to sitting upright. As we breathe out, we'll bring the feet back underneath the knees. Breathe in, this time take your elbows to the chair back behind you as you open your chest. So they don't need to touch, but just in that direction. And as you breathe out, hands back onto the thighs. We'll do that one more time. Breathing in, elbows back towards the chair behind you, opening the chest, looking up. Breathing out, hands back to the thighs. Stretch the right leg forward, breathe in, reach the arms up. Breathe out, gently sway to the right side. Breathe in, back to the center, firm belly. Breathing out, sway to the left side. This time we're going to twist. Breathe in, back to the center. Breathe out, drop your elbows and gently twist to your right side. Breathe in and reach up, coming back to center. Breathing out, twist to your left side. Let's do that one more time to each side. Breathing in, reaching up. Breathing out as you twist, elbows wide and down. Breathing in, reaching up, open the chest. Breathing out as you twist. Breathing in, reaching up in the center. Breathing out, draw just your hands down to Namaste. And then we're going to breathe in as we slide our hands down our legs. The right leg still extended, the left leg still bent. And just coming into a gentle forward bend. Take a long deep breath in, roll the shoulder blades together. Try to lengthen your crown head, uh, the crown of your head forward. So you do a gentle lift of the chest and exhale as you fold even deeper over the legs. We'll do that one more time. Draw the shoulder blades together, breathe in, gently lift the belly and lift your chest about halfway up. So you're about halfway into your forward bend and then exhale as you fold deeper in. Inhale, slide the hands up the legs again and exhale, finish by bending your right knee in, having your hands in Namaste. Everyone okay? We do the same thing, starting with our forward bending and backward bending, and then go to the other side. So let's take the feet wide again, making sure you've got a nice solid bottom on the seat. Breathe in, reach your arms up, lifting your chest, breathing out, draw your hands down to Namaste. Firm in the belly, hands onto the thighs. Breathing in as you fold forward, sliding the hands down the legs and then hold as you breathe out at the bottom of your forward bend. On your next breath in, sliding the hands back up the legs, coming to sit upright again. And as you breathe out, pop your feet back on your block or underneath your hips. Breathing in, elbows towards each other behind you, opening the chest, maybe trying to touch the back of the chair. Breathing out, back to neutral. Do it one more time. 
Breathing in, elbows opening wide, trying to touch the back of the chair. Breathing out, back to neutral. We're gonna breathe in and slide the left hand forward and at the same time, raise the arms up. And breathing out, gently sway to the left side first. Doesn't matter if you've gone the other way. Breathing in, back to the center and breathing out to the left, uh, to the right even. Breathing in, back to the center and twisting gently to the left, elbows wide and elbows bent. Breathing in, back to the center, twisting to the right. Breathing in, reaching up, Breathing out as you twist. Breathing in, reaching up. Breathing out as you twist. Breathing in, reaching up. And as you breathe out, bring your hands down to Namaste. Oh no, sorry. Here we are, hands down to Namaste. And then as you breathe in, slide your hands down your leg into a forward fold, nearly forgot it. Take a deep breath in, press into the hands a little bit, roll the shoulder blades, lift the chest, uh, long arms. And as you breathe out, fold forward over your legs. One more time like that. Rolling the shoulder blades, lifting the belly, lifting the chest as you breathe in. And as you breathe out, folding forward over the legs. Breathing in, slide the hands all the way back up the legs, firm in the belly and finish with the hands in Namaste and your feet back on the block. Relax the arms to the sides, roll the shoulders. Very good. So I think we could add a little extra thing to this one this time, maybe. Um, so we'll start with the, hand, the feet apart again um, and we'll see how we go. So we'll talk through it nice and slow. So sitting tall, ready, inhaling, reaching the arms out and up, opening the chest. As you exhale, hands down to the center of the chest. We're gonna drop the hands to the thighs. Inhale as we reach the chest forward and slide the hands down. Exhale in the forward bend, firm the belly. Inhale as you come back up to sitting and exhale, both feet back onto the block. Inhale, take your elbows behind you, open your chest, try to touch the elbows if you can, and exhale back to sitting upright. Shoulders back and down, one more time. Inhaling, opening the chest, elbows almost touching behind you, and exhaling back to neutral. This time, we're gonna inhale as we slide the right foot forward and then take the foot a little bit out to the side, exhaling there. And we can do the same thing with the left leg, so we can take the left leg a little bit out to the side as well, only if that's comfortable, okay? So we're going to inhale the arms out and up. Exhale, imagine you've got your big beach ball there. I'm gonna inhale, leaning over to the left side, Exhale back to the center, really firm in the belly. Inhale over to the right side. And exhale back to the center. Let's do that one more time. Inhaling over to the left. Exhaling back to the center. Feel your tummy muscles working. Inhale over to the right. You can press in your feet. And exhale back to the center. We're gonna inhale the arms long and turn to look at the middle finger of the left hand as you exhale. And then we're going to inhale, lift the left hand up and drop the right hand down. So a very similar position, but the arms are different. And exhale as we hold. Inhale one more time here. And exhale. Inhale back to center and then exhale Draw your left forearm to your left thigh and reach your right arm over. Extended side angle pose. Inhaling here. And exhaling one more time. Inhaling, reach the fingertips and toe tips away. 
and exhaling. Turn your top hand, inhale back to your center. And exhale, let's gather up our knees and bring them back to the center. Bring our hands into Namaste, just for a moment. So we've sort of closed everything down. We're gonna inhale the arms wide and exhale the left arm over the right arm to give ourselves a big hug. There we are. So let your elbows be soft onto your chest, uh, relax, sorry, onto your chest, and just take a couple of deep breaths here. Maybe one more. Then we're going to relax the arms all the way down, open the chest. And we're ready to do the same thing to the other side. We'll start with our wide legs first. So sitting tall and on your next breath in, reaching the arms out and up firm in the belly and breathing out, bringing the hands down to the center of the chest. Hands relax down onto the knee, onto the thighs. Inhale as you lengthen down over your legs. And as you exhale, just find yourself folding into that forward bend as much as feels comfortable. Firm in the belly, inhale the arms back up again. And then we're going to exhale the feet back onto the block. Inhale, open the chest, take your elbows behind you, nice soft arms, elbows behind you. Exhaling, back to center. One more time, inhaling, opening the chest, elbows behind you. Exhaling, back to center. We're gonna inhale, lengthen the left leg and then just take it out to the side wherever is comfortable. And then exhale, just turning the right knee out to the side as well. You might need to shift yourself on your seat. So give yourself a few moments uh, to find this space. And then we're going to inhale the our arms out and up and exhale like we're holding a beach ball and leaning over to the right. Inhale back to the center and exhale our beach ball over to the left, really firm in the belly. Inhaling up, be firm in your feet too. Exhaling over, firm in your buttocks. Inhaling up and exhaling over. Lovely. Inhale back to the center. Exhale, let the arms float down to about shoulder height and turn to look at the middle finger of your right hand. Inhale, reach the left hand down and the right hand up and we're gonna hold exhaling here inhale one more deep breath firm in the belly and as you exhale you can come back to the center and drop your right forearm down to your right thigh inhale reach the left arm over and holding as you exhale stretch the fingers and the toes away from each other inhaling and exhaling. Turn your palm up to the ceiling. Inhale back to center. And exhaling, we'll just bring our feet back onto the block. Nice. And finish with the hands in Namaste. Then we'll do our arm wrapping. Inhaling, arms wide. Exhaling, right arm over left arm this time. Hug the arms towards you. Let the elbows soften to the chest and we'll take two deep breaths. Inhale. And exhaling. One more. Inhaling. And exhaling. Let's relax the arms down to the sides. Very nice. And just roll the shoulders a little if you need to. Or simply sit for a moment with your hands on your thighs and just experience the sensations of that posture, the effects of those, that little flow that we've done. Very nice. And when you're ready, we're going to come up into standing as well. Um, so well done, chaps. Very, very good.
I'm going to turn my chair this way and just pop my block a little bit out of the way um, to do a standing, um, what's the word? Sun salutation, which is very similar to what we've done uh, before in class. Um, so it's just putting together some of the postures that we work with into a little bit of a flow so it feels dynamic, you can feel your way into it. So to begin with, we're going to stand uh, as far away from the chair as we need to, to do a forward bend, which is about arm's length, but we're not holding onto the chair yet. So standing in Tadasana, we're having our feet uh, hip width apart, rolling the shoulder blades down towards each other on the back, turning the palms a little bit forward if you can, lengthening through the crown of the head, feeling everything engage, feeling the knees lift, the buttocks lift, the pelvic floor lift, the belly muscles lift, the crown of the head lift. Standing here, we inhale, and then exhale the hands to Namaste. We're going to breathe in as we reach all the way up and look up. And as you breathe out, bend your knees and fold forward from your hips until your hands touch your chair or your arms. We're going to walk our feet just a little bit back to be able to do our standing downward facing dog. So here in downward dog, you've got your knees a little bit bent to start. If you want to, you could lengthen one leg and bend the opposite knee a little bit deeper and then come back to center and do the same to the other side. If that doesn't suit you, you don't have to. But what that does is it gives you an opportunity to lengthen a little bit more down the back of the legs. And at the same time, do a little bit of a shimmer through the hips. So um, just a little uh, tilt and turn of the pelvis. So from here, we're going to hold onto the chair and step the right foot forward to the chair and come upright at the same time. So we've got our back heel towards the ground if possible, front knee bent, chair for stability. Everyone okay? Good. Okay. And from here, we can use, we're going to use the same hand as the chair. No, nope. we're going to use the same, the opposite hand. So if you step forward with your right foot, we're going to use our left arm. Okay, so left arm is uh, relaxed by the side to begin with. Breathe in and reach your left arm up and try to make it like a diagonal line between the heel of your foot and the fingers of your hand as you exhale. Lovely. So we're going to inhale, keep lengthening into the fingers, lengthening into the heel and exhale. Then we're going to inhale upright as much as possible and exhale over towards the right. So we've inhaled upright, now we're exhaling, we're making a, a lengthen to the right side. We're gonna inhale back to center. We're gonna exhale that arm down. We're gonna step back into our downward facing dog. So stepping your right foot back underneath your hip and coming into your downward facing dog position. And here, keeping the knees nice and soft, we're going to wiggle the hips from side to side. Awesome. So you're feeling that length down the sides of the body. Maybe it feels also good to gently turn the head. You don't have to do the two at the same time. Nice firmness in the belly. We'll come back to center and we're preparing to work to the opposite side. So as you inhale, step your left foot forward. Keep your right heel towards the ground if you can. Left knee a little bit bent. Fantastic. And so here, just spend a moment finding our center, making sure that we've got everything working in the middle. And we're going to use our right hand this time. So as you inhale, reach your right hand up. And you're trying to create a diagonal line. So reaching the fingertips up and forward, and the right heel stretching back and down behind you. Let's take another deep breath in. And a deep breath out. Then we're going to breathe in and reach straight up if you can, dropping the shoulder blade down the back. And then exhale as we reach over to the left. So you've come back to neutral and then you're reaching over a nice side stretch. Hopefully you feel it around the, the hip and the front of the pelvis. One more deep breath in and deep breath out. We're going to come back to center as we breathe in. 
So breathe out, just reach that hand down, soften the back leg, step back into your downward facing dog. And here, doing any movements that feel good. So if it's a gentle bending and straightening of the legs, so you get like a, a undulation at the bottom of the spine, or if it's just bent knees and a wiggle, that's all good. And then when you're ready, you can look forward to the chair, walk yourself forward to the chair, hold on to the chair still though, yeah? Very good. And so we're going to finish this with a little twist as well. So coming up onto your tiptoes as you inhale, and then as you exhale, just release your right hand from the chair. Inhale the right hand up, and turning to the right as you open that hand down behind you. Exhale back the way. So drawing a nice big semicircle back the way. So on tiptoes, yeah? Inhaling, firm in the belly, reaching up and back and over. Keep hold with your left hand. Exhaling back to center. Let's float the heels to the floor and just uh, do a little chair pose in between. So bending the knees straight forward as you look down, the knees are over your feet, keeping your chest open. And here you can tuck your tailbone under and tuck it out. Maybe do a little rocking backwards and forwards and finding a spot that feels good for you and then straightening the legs again. So we're not holding chair pose for a long time, which is good. Firm in the belly. Let's come up onto tiptoes again. Let's do our twist to the opposite side. Exhale the left arm down to the side. When you're ready, inhale, reach the left arm up and over and out to the side. It doesn't matter how high it goes. And exhale back the opposite way. And if you need to, you can just simply do a side uh, reach. So inhaling, reaching out to the side and around. Same thing. And exhaling back. When you come back to the center, floating the heels down, doing this time a little bit of a more dynamic chair. So if you feel comfortable, you can actually use your arms in this. So if you want to hold on to the chair, that's absolutely fine. If you want to, you can have your arms down by your sides, breathing in as you sit, reaching the arms up, breathing out as you come back to standing. So either with the chair or with the arms, doesn't matter which. Firm in the belly, stand tall. We're gonna breathe in. Imagine we're gonna sit down behind us, firm buttocks and weight in your heels, breathing out back to standing. Breathing in, coming into chair pose, breathing out back to standing. Let's really power it with the buttocks and the thighs. Breathing in, buttocks firm, belly firm, thighs firm. Breathing out, power up into those thighs as you come up to standing. One more, breathing in, no rest for the wicked today, and breathing out. Awesome source. And then just spend a moment standing tall, rolling anything that needs rolling. Oh, say, that's nice. And then here ends the moving part of the class. You'll be very pleased to know. And we will come back to sitting on our chairs. I'm just going to grab the tincture chimes so they're handy for a little bit later. And you can settle yourself into a comfortable position. If, it, if you want to, you can be, uh, you can sit towards the edge of your seat. And if you prefer to sit back a little bit, particularly if you're feeling a little bit uh, tired after that sequence, because it was quite, quite demanding, um, then that's all right too. Um, at usual, trying to get myself settled. There we are. So uh, we're going to do a, a breathing exercise now with Hasta Mudras. So having had all of that lovely energy move around, we're going to focus on moving energy instead in a much more subtle way. So in yoga, we use our bodies to do asana, to manipulate our prana, our energy, but we can also use mudras, gestures, um, to do this as well. And there are some 
So in our um, flow that we just did, when we turned to look at the middle finger of the hand when we had our legs like this, uh, that is called a uh, gesture of the eyes. And the, the position of the hands is a gesture as well. So these are all incorporated into asana. And we're just going to bring them into a breathing. I think we've done this in class before. Um, so the mudras that we're going to do are uh, simply a neutral hand, long fingers, long thumbs, fingers all together. They don't have to be pressed together, but in the same sort of thing. We're going to leave that neutral hand on the thighs. That's our first position. Our second position will be chin mudra, first finger and thumb together. Doesn't really matter how you do that, whether it be the tips of the fingers, the first finger curled into the first knuckle of the thumb or all the way into the palm of the hand. They are slightly different, but for this, it doesn't matter so much. But the rest of the fingers nice and long, palms up or down as you choose. Then we'll do chin maya mudra. So the same thing as chin mudra, but curling all of the fingers around. So you make little um, binoculars, tubes out of the hands. So the hand, the space between the palms and the fingers hasn't collapsed. It's, you can see through it, chin maya mudra. And our final mudra is adi mudra. So for this one, the thumbs come into the palms and all of the other fingers wrap around the thumbs and we make this soft fist. So it's not really hard. We're not squeezing the thumbs so hard, um, but a soft fist. And again, you can rest it on your lap. So let's go through those one more time. Neutral hand, chin mudra, first finger and thumb together. Chin maya mudra, all the other fingers rolled in. So we make binoculars, tubes with the hands. And adi mudra, thumb, all the other fingers. Okay super deeper. So first, let's relax our hands, give them a shake out, and rest the hands onto the thighs. Maybe you roll the shoulder blades down, slightly lengthen through the crown of the head, closing your eyes if you feel comfortable doing that. We're going to take notice of how the breath is, it's how the body feels, but also how the breath is in this moment. And at this stage of your class, usually our breath is deeper, a little softer, moving a little lower in the body than it was when we started. So with your hands in a very neutral position, observe the rate and rhythm of your breath without controlling your breath, without changing it. Try relaxing your shoulders and your face. And then bring your first finger and thumb together to make chin mudra allow the rest of the fingers to remain long. Observe reactions in your system. Changes in your breath. Checking that your face and shoulders are relaxed. And moving your hands into Chin Maya Mudra, curling all of the fingers, making a tube of the hands, keeping the first finger and thumb together.
Observe your reaction to the breath, to this movement, sorry, this change. And observe your breath. Check that your face and your shoulders are relaxed. And gently move your hands into Adi Mudra, thumbs into the palms, wrapping the fingers around the thumbs. Soft fist. Observe your reaction to this change. Observe your breath. Soften your face and shoulders. Bring your hands back into Chin Maya Mudra. So first finger and thumb together, all the other fingers curled as well, making a little tube out of the hands. Observe your breath. And bringing the hands into chin mudra, extending the third, fourth and fifth fingers, leaving the first finger and thumb together. Observe your reaction and your breath. Bringing your hands back to neutral like you to try this in a more relaxed position as well. So relaxing yourself back into your seat or reclining on your sofa if you prefer. So beginning with the hands in the neutral position, relaxing the face and the shoulders. Observing your natural spontaneous breath. Bringing your hands into chin mudra, first fingers and thumbs together other fingers long. Notice any reaction in your body 
your mind, your breath to this change. keeping your face and shoulders relaxed. When you're ready, moving the fingers into Chin Maya Mudra, making a tube out of the hands. Keeping the face and shoulders relaxed. When you're ready, moving the hands into Adi Mudra. Thumbs into the palms, fingers wrapped around. Soft fists. Notice any changes, any reaction in your body, your breath, your mind. When you're ready, come back into Chin Maya Mudra. First finger and thumb together, all fingers curled in. Keeping your face and shoulders nice and relaxed. When you're ready, move back into Chin Mudra, extending your middle ring and little fingers. the remainder of your relaxation, you can stay here with the hands in this position, or you can relax the hands into the neutral position, whichever feels to you the most comfortable. Simply observe your breath, allowing the body to soften a little deeper with every exhalation.
Gently begin to deepen your breath. Maybe return your awareness to this time and this place. When you feel ready, just wriggling your fingers, wriggling your toes, maybe turning your ankles, your wrists, preparing to move larger parts of the body. When you feel ready, take a deep breath in and stretch the arms. <sighs> stretch the legs if you'd like to. Release the arms down. Here, maybe rolling the shoulders or uh, making small movements with the head, easing the neck, the shoulders, the chest. And then when you're ready, you can bring the hands to Namaste, you get lots of Heat into the hands, movement a little bit into the arms, pressing firmly, rubbing hard. When the hands begin to feel really warm, place them over the eyes. So that warmth softens and releases the area around the eyes. Blinking into your palms a few times before you release your hands down as you open your eyes. Namaste guys. So you can finish this practice of uh, the hand mudras by taking the, the, the thumb and the fingertips together. So little, thumb to, little finger to thumb, ring finger to thumb, middle finger to thumb, first finger to thumb. You can go around as uh, swiftly as you would like. Um, and you can also go all the way to the first finger and then back to the little finger. So more of a... Uh, ripple effect and you can start by going from the first finger out to the little finger and keep going that way and as I said backwards and forwards and the idea is to improve this uh, dexterity um, just as we do with small children by doing little fine motor skills these are the neural pathways that sometimes get a little bit lost as we as we gracefully age um, so it's useful to keep them open and also shake out the wrists and roll the wrists. Shake out the fingers, roll the wrists. And that will help to release any uh, stuck energy as the result of our mudra practice. Um, so the theory is for most people, and you may buck the trend, that's okay. For most people, chin mudra, first finger and thumb together, other fingers long. The classic um, a gesture of somebody meditating is supposed to promote the breath down deep into the lungs and to promote a soft, gentle, slow, deep breath. Um, so that's why it's used for meditation because it helps the breath to be at ease. Chin Maya mudra with the fingers curled in to make binoculars promotes breath to the middle lobe of the lungs. And so you get this sensation of the rib cage moving a lot more with the breath, sometimes. And then Adi Mudra promotes breath to the top part of the lungs. There's a, there's a posture called Salabhasana, the locust, where this mudra is used in the arms because it's the only part of the body that's open. So we can do this really uh, uh, open breath or sort of deeper breath into this part of the lungs. But usually, Adi Mudra makes the breath more shallow, makes the shoulders move a little bit more as you breathe. Some people are wired differently and you may have noticed other changes. It doesn't matter what you notice. The important thing is to notice something. Um, so uh, I hope you enjoyed it. I will say namaste and say bye bye to those who are watching on the video. Um, it was lovely that you joined us. See you next time.